Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Steadfast RC. In today's episode, I'm going to be walking you through how to flash Express LRS 2.4 GHz on your Express LRS receivers. In this case, I'm using the Happy Model EP1 receiver, and we're going to be flashing it through Wi Fi. I've never had to use Betaflight Pass through to flash it. Wi Fi is so easy, and it's worked every time for me. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you guys how to do this step by step. All right, guys, I want to show you something real quick. This is the Gep RC Dolphin 4 inch toothpick, and I plugged in the battery, and you can see that flashing light in there. I don't have any radio turned on or anything going to this right now. It's just the battery connected to the quad. The Express LRS receiver is that orange light blinking in there. And factory, they come with a 20 second default. So in 20 seconds, this light's going to start flashing really rapidly. And what that means is the receiver has went into Wi-Fi mode. So the receiver is actually outputting its own Wi-Fi signal. So the orange light that you were just seeing flashing rapidly on the receiver that's installed in this quad is right there, right at the tip of my hex driver. That's the orange light that you'll look for. I hope that's showing up in the video. I can see it through the screen, but that thing's flashing really rapidly right now. That means that it's in Wi-Fi mode. So now that you know that, let's pop on over to the computer and I'll show you what to do from there. I'ma make you take it, take it, take it all back. You ain't never gonna get me, man, I'm too fast. The thing we're gonna do is go to Google and wait for an unreasonable amount of time for the page to load for some reason. There it is. And then we're going to type in Express LRS Config Reader. And it's this GitHub link. Click on that. Let that bad boy load. And then There's some installation notes. If you scroll down a little bit, it tells you about, you know, what you need if you're running Windows or Mac or Linux. And then it tells you which files you're going to need to download. So you guys will have to figure this part out for yourself. It's really easy though. Just read through it, figure out which file you need to download, download it. So pretend like we've just done that because I've already done it. I'm not going to do it again for the sake of the video. So minimize that. We're going to go ahead and open up Express LRS Configurator. And this is the window that you will see here, except danger zone. Don't pay any attention to that. You won't be uh, dealing with that. That's another a 1.1x uh, maintenance firmware that I flashed, but you won't have to worry with about that. So you're going to come down here to the device category, and then you're going to pick out, for our sake, we'll be doing the Happy Model 2.4 gig, but you can see there's beta flight, there's uh, 915 megahertz if you want that. There's just all these different options here for your your device category we're gonna go ahead and pick happy model 2.4 gigahertz device target is going to be so this is where you got to kind of pay attention a little bit because here make sure you're not using the TX if you're flashing the receiver if you're flashing the transmitter side of it obviously go ahead and use the TX but we're gonna pick happy model EP 2400 RX via Wi-Fi don't pay any attention to this uh, red line going across there that's just something I did before. And then you're going to come down here. If you want to change that to 30, go ahead and change it like I did, whatever. And this is going to be the basic setup right here. Just go ahead and, if you want to change something, just change it to your liking. Make sure after you got everything set the way you want it, you hit build, not build and flash. And this can take up to, I don't know, I've had it take like probably close to 10 minutes before. So I'm not going to have you guys sit here and watch this. I'll come back when it's done building the firmware. All right, it's been a couple minutes. You can see down here it's still just uh, compiling all the different stuff <laughs> that needs to go into your receiver. So we'll come back in a couple more minutes when it's done. Okay, so it's done building. You'll see this blue line that says firmware binary file was opened in the file explorer, at least in Windows. So after it builds it, it automatically opens it for you where the file is, which is this one right here. Okay, so after you get the success right here and the build notice and then you figure out where your file is, put it on your desktop, then you come over here to your internet connections and you'll see the Express LRS RX and you're going to want to click that because that's the Wi-Fi being output by that tiny little Express LRS receiver right now. Crazy, isn't it? 
So we're going to go ahead and connect to that. Then we're going to open up, or it's going to open it up for us. Uh, just open an internet browser and then you're going to type in this 10.0.0.1. Hit enter. Okay, now you should come up with this page right here. And how you do this is so right now we're connected to the Wi Fi of the receiver. Gonna want to scroll down here, choose file. And we're gonna choose our file, which mine is on the desktop as a maintenance file, I believe. Um, where'd I put it? Oh, this one right here, cold start fix, that's the one. I, I renamed it, yours won't be called that. But you'll find your file that you put in a place where hopefully you can find it easy, like your desktop. Choose the file and then you'll see it show up right here. Then all you gotta do is hit update. And you'll see the little, whatever that thing is, the timer thing is working up there. And then when it's done, you'll get a little message, I think, saying success up here, if I remember correctly. Oh, here it is. Update success rebooting. So do not disconnect the battery from your quadcopter right now, or it won't, it won't uh, do its thing. Let it sit for a little bit. I usually give it about 30 seconds or so. And then you can go ahead and unplug your quad. And just set up your control link in Betaflight like you usually would and that's how you do it guys that's how you flash express lrs it's that easy over wi-fi i've never had an issue with it as far as having to use Betaflight pass through or anything like that i have fought it a little bit on my laptop with one of my friends but for whatever reason i don't i don't even know what that was about but yeah anyway that's how you do it guys well thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that helps you out when it comes to flashing your Express LRS receivers over Wi-Fi. If you run into any problems or want to ask me any questions, comment down below. Oh, and I'm running a special right now, I just, I almost forgot. If you subscribe to my channel right now, it's actually free. So go ahead and get on that before the price goes up. Alright, thanks guys.